Yeehaw! <laughs> it's time for love and peace and story time about kryptonite. Can you guys say kryptonite? Because story time is cool. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it no more. I'm not going to be the Easter Bunny and Clark Kent. Away with that noise. Oh, I killed it. Oh. Oh, I'm mad. Mm, no more ice identity, secret identity. Time for story time. Time to be as little kids. And we have to do that because all children love people. What we got here, I'm going to sum it up real quick. We got a world of... Um, while I spit up my gum, we have a world that envisions our Heavenly Father with conditional love. And you you know, as all acorns don't fall too far from the trees, we have all developed conditional love. We love you if, and that's it, because that's our Father has conditional love. But guess what? It was veiled all throughout scriptures that... Uh, his love has not been unconditional. And this is provable by the Kingdom Age New Covenant. And once the veil is ripped away, we see that his love has always been unconditional. So now we need to be as the Father. And we need to, to have that take away all the conditions to our love. Because when you have conditions on love, there's no love at all. It's a big deception. It's a big caboodle. It's, it's false. It's a lie that we fed ourselves a, 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 a bill of goods. So if you really want the love, joy, peace, we have to break chains. And how we do that, we got to get some good blue kryptonite. And then I uh, got to break those chains. Break them. Because guess what? Right break now them. is the fireworks. And I'm coming to you live from Windsor, Ontario, Canada, up the north of Isaiah 41. Yay. With the two uh, lampstands of uh, Zechariah 6, the Lord has deposited oil of gladness within us for others. And we're going to overflow that as much as possible. But our chains have to be broken of our own deceptions about love. For where there is not 100% forgiveness, there is no love. It's conditional, and it, it, our Father has never had that. His everlasting covenant of Jeremiah 31 has been that he says, I, I'm going to forgive all of your iniquity and never remember it. And uh, though it be as scarlet, it'll be as white as snow to him. And he says, and then I shall never remember it. Anymore. Never. That's it. Now, if we're going to believe God, that's it. That's all we. Because if He remembers it, He'd be a liar. And, and our Father is not, is a, not liar. a liar. Mighty God is not and a liar. And so this has been bailed all throughout. So we have to break the chains of our misunderstandings and conform to what our Father's will. And now comes the great white cloud of uh, Matthew 24 and Revelation 14. He's sent the kingdom age covenant now to begin the kingdom age. That's right. And uh, Jeremiah 31, 1 and uh, or 1 verse 10 rather. And uh, Haggai 2, 2 said that he would do that in the latter days. Tear down all the kingdoms of man. He'd send along a great big green eyed monster to do it if necessary. But That's right. he's quite capable of accomplishing his own word. God is not a liar, so, nor did he waste his time. Welcome to story time about the good kryptonite. Yay! See, there's bad cholesterol and good cholesterol, and what God wants is for us to stuff. have the good stuff, the stuff that's not destructive, the stuff that won't implode and explode in our faces, the, the, the stuff that will erase the erasable curse of Malachi 4, 6, which is Isaiah 24. Uh, Zephaniah 1.1, 1, 1, uh, Deuteronomy 18.18, 18. I am the one that Moses foretold, one like him, one that would cause the great exodus of the great falling away that is de uh, demanded by heaven in Second Thessalonians, that three things must happen. The great falling away must be, it's the word of Habakkuk 2.2, 2, King James. Uh, the vision was written uh, plainly on, so, so that when the vision comes, they may run from all gross darkness, leave Babylon time. Uh, that has to happen, lawless one has to be revealed. Hey, Mr. Morg, Morg the Revelation Morg, 13, 13 guy, I love him like a brother. He's the brother of another mother. But the truth is, he's the one that would die by a sword in Revelation 13, 13, oh. and become the Antichrist. But guess what? That not future's happening. not gonna happen. 
because Christ is faithful to have performed his word of Matthew 24, 22. He, he said did. that unless the former age of grace was cut short by his kingdom age new covenant message being sent unto earth, the everlasting gospel of which I am the writer, he would sink in, in uh, upon the great white cloud. And now he's calling us people to, to ascend up in a twinkling of an eye. There's no rapture. In a twinkling of an eye, one will be left, one will be taken, and hearts will adjoin with his unconditional love and the oneness of man for all. This is the, the one world in our religion heart. of the good shepherd over all the flocks of God. The it is his started. faith. It is uh, John uh, 10, 15, 16. But the other thing that has to happen is the restoration of his er uh, word, Acts 3.21. So those three things, but his restoration only comes by his word alone, with no unlawful additions of tradition or religion. Adding, uh, the, the word of God was totally changed. Uh, here's his covenant. I'm going to be your God. You're going to be my people. I'm going to forgive your iniquity. I'm never going to remember it no more. And then I'm going to write my law and love on your hearts. And no one will need to be taught about me anymore, says God. That's it. End of the story because it ends religion. Yeah, you'll know. And religion is obsolete, Hebrews 8. You'll know in your Paul hearts what's right and wrong. Uh, he wants loving spirituality to arise, open-hearted, open-minded, and Amen. he wants death to all man-made condemnation religion. So guess what? The great falling away has never been the apostate rebellion that the religious have envisioned. Oh yeah, all the bad's going to leave the good. No! The good will now leave the bad, saith Elijah. I am Shiloh, one whose eyes are dull with wine, one whose eyes have been red with wine. I am the alcoholic of Habakkuk 2, King James, transgressed by wine, and my soul has not been upright like none of yours has been either. But the just will live by my faith because I am the one that foretold was foretold through Moses. Jacob foretold this, that when Shiloh comes, the scepter of all heaven sent authority, under earth, as it is in heaven, so is it now. I restore all things. Amen. And by that, it's the giving the kingdom age covenant rightly addressed to Israel and all mankind. God. Jeremiah 31, 1. And if that did not happen, God would be a liar. And he is not. I am the expected one of Malachi 4, 6. It's my job to introduce the message that will turn Re the hearts of the fathers How to the children so that this earth will not be totally destroyed. God's word alone, so not ours. If you will not embrace God's word alone and not the word of religion, this world will be destroyed. Thus saith God in Zephaniah 1.1, 1, 1, there are the fish no flesh. will be uh, floating in outer space. All no little fishies. No flesh would survive. No flesh would survive. So people, it's time to get a life and it's time to believe the Lord. Uh, Trudy and I are foretold as the, the two lampstands. And by the way, um, I've told you my lampstand story and Trudy's going to tell you hers one of these days. But uh, unbelievably, we were seeing by a light that was never plugged in for about seven, eight minutes. Very each, similar. Each one of us. Uh, very similar story. But different circumstances. So it's time, beloved, that we get a life and celebrate life of love. what's happening. This is the crescendo of the prophets. It is t the Superman time because Jesus said in John 10 that we are as God's small g. Now what he meant by that, we are Superman. We are Supergirl, Superboy, Super everything. We are Angels. Super. We are made in his image, fearfully and wonderfully made. We are man angels. We are right. angels. And the glory of the latter house is greater than that of the former because we were made into the caterpillar to become the most beautiful butterfly of all. That's right. God judges us, each and every one of us, according to our own heart. He knows. He, he has written his laws on our heart. He, we he, know right But he wrong. will not judge none of us. No. That's the thing. He's only doing it in love. Oh, yeah, the Love rewards. alone judge us. We, yeah. That will be the judgment yeah. day. Because what, what's happened, people, that sends Satan to hell for 1,000 years, yeah. according to the book of Daniel 12. Because the bottom line is, when God has shut the door 
uh, to, uh, he says, I will forgive your iniquity and never remember it, which means no judgment. That's right. And because of that, Satan cannot be the accuser of the brethren. Thank you, Trudy. Yep. That, that's, I meant to tell you that. But we will be rewarded, though. Oh, we will be rewarded, but the bottom line is there will be no judgment for our that's iniquity. Right. That's and right. if this was not veiled, it would have been ages of, of Caligula, Sodom, and Gomorrah all wrapped up in the one. We would have never we, made it this he, far. He purposely wanted to confuse us, which he did from the beginning of Babel onwards until now. And now comes the great fireworks of love. Now comes the great crescendo, the zenith, the climax of all that has been hidden. And now the the end result is that Israel has inherited all mankind, Isaiah 54. Amen. Now it is revealed we have desolate heritages, uh, Isaiah 49, 8. Now it can be revealed that who is the sons and daughters of God? Us. It's every single one of us that will keep their love light on. Is there a hell? Hell yes. Yeah. If we send ourselves there, but our God will not out. judge us. If we're stupid enough not to let our love continue on and endure until the end, as it is written, then we would perish because that is the unforgivable sin, blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, love. Perish. So perish if you let your light go out, you have no everlasting light for your body that is made 100% of the light of love. Right, and that's how alone. That's the hell. Everlasting that's uh, the hell with no, no love light. ever, no ever love, more. No light. That's the hell. You put yourself there. So, I hope you enjoy this reading. I'm I'm Superman, don't Yay, you know? And man. we are all angels. And uh, I'm telling you people, if you get your head around what I'm telling you and Trudy's telling you this day, it does totally end religion, whether you like it or not. It brings forth days of John Lennon. Uh, imagine the prophet John. And the prophet Michael Jackson's uh, song, Heal the World, where he showcased as a prophet the prophecy of Isaiah 2. In the latter days, we would beat our swords of the Spirit that were conditional love into unconditional love of the sickle of God, which comes to reap the earth for love. Amen. That is the harvest of God, is the harvest of love. And he is the sower of the seeds of love from Amos 9, who has overtaken his two reapers, his harvest reapers, Trudy Darlene Owsley and Daniel Fletcher Owsley, born of two superhuman people, Lois Amelia Carter and Hubert C. Owsley. And we have a sister, Cheryl May Ruth, whom is preceded us in glory. And we come from a family of people that argued a little bit here and there. We didn't always get along, but we always loved always people, loved. always forgave each other. And that is what we need to do to all people. Right. I look at the morgue, uh, Morgan Knight, the Antichrist wannabe that will not be. No. And I look at him, and I love him like a, a another brother. brother from another mother. He's got some uh, insanely genius ideas. ideas. Yeah. And many of them are very, some very are good. True. I commend that. Take the good, leave what's bad. Bruce Lee Always. said that. Uh, Muhammad said, oh, people of the book, you have nothing to stand upon unless you stand upon the, the law, the gospel, and all revelation that comes to you from God. That's right, amen. And Paul said, I would have you know concerning anything about prophecy, such must be inspected most carefully in all that's good embraced. People won't even look at it. Is there any faith on planet Earth? No, because everybody's still Clark Kent, yeah. s dressed up behind a bunny mask, a fake phony mask, because uh, there's it's no scary. meaning in this world, because nobody has understood any of their good books. That's right, they don't read it. The they veil has it. been ripped, and now the wheat shall not grow with the tares. Read your Bible. And Trudy and I are from evermore saying, leave every happy, happy, joy, joy club that says if you're not a member of our club, everybody else is damned. That is full-blown out racism. It's mother friggin' racism. We're not telling you that. What it is, it is, people. There's a lot of good. The religion, the spirituality yeah. is good. All the charity the is charity, good. The but all the condemnation, that is of the it's devil loved. who has been removed. That's right. And if God finds us blameless before his eyesight, and he says, we're going to forgive your iniquity and never remember it again. Who are we to keep accusing our brothers? And who are we to question God? 
Nobody believes God that he's they're for, he's forgiven you yeah. unconditionally. The Bible says so, people. For everything and anything, all of us, with our so open hearts of It's love. time we got to break those chains and simply believe the word of God, the kingdom age covenant. What happened? I'm going to tell you real briefly. I didn't intend to. But uh, it was the sin of Esau, early Christian followers, unintentionally, no malice. They said, we are Israel and all mankind. And they weren't. Because that's who the covenant, uh, uh, kingdom age covenant was addressed to. And they said, and it is fulfilled now. No, it wasn't. It was for the latter days. It says so. Jeremiah 31. They one. stole it. They stole latter it. days, this would come for all nations. They stole it. They're hated for it. It was twisted and they pivoted. And the very people that the, the blessing was for, they turned and said, you're going to hell. Oh, yeah, because they out. added to the word of God and they inserted, but you got to do or believe something. You got to do this, got to do that. Which was totally a total oppo opposite uh, well, addition to the word of God that changed God's voice. And Jesus Christ Almighty, the risen Lamb of God, who is the good shepherd over all the flocks of men, he knew beyond a shadow of a doubt this people. He knew that in the latter days he would rise as the good shepherd over all the flocks and they would all come to him because they knew that the great restoration brought by Elijah, his Shiloh, his latter day Daniel, of Daniel 12, 13, and Trudy who will cause the shattering of the power of the holy people because now the son of love from Isaiah 60 arises to destroy all the gross darkness of our man-made desolate heritage religion. Right. Stay in every church, in every temple, in every synagogue. Stay if they condemn not others. But if they're condemning anybody, run like hell. Because they are creating hell upon earth. That's right. That's right. Division. So with that, you I can are. have a sip of water and take it easy a little bit for a second before I give myself a little heart attack. Oh my goodness. Don't do it. Don't do it. So beautiful. We got to become super people. Super because we are. Did you know that the Bible says we're going to judge the fallen before us in love? Yeah. Really, we will. The other fallen, the fallen angels, because before we're us. fallen too. Because you see, God says that the glory of the latter house of us is greater than that of the former because the first are last and the last are first. So uh, nothing is as what you have. The mystery of God was over everything. Um, how old is this world? It's six, seven thousand years old. That's it. Google uh, T-Rex blood cell, you'll see blood cells in the T-Rex vein. Yeah, the world was How old created. Is that? The world it was, was wor created in the antiquity. world uh, with very great age on day number one. It was created ancient yes. just to confuse us some more. That's right. There's been a lot of confusion sent on purpose, but praise the Lord. When Jesus Christ prayed in Gethsemane for our unity, he knew he was sending it back because he knew that when we matured enough as a race, and we had seen uh, and had enough of the fill of God. man's inhumanity towards man and the death that would come otherwise. If people won't listen to Trudy and I, this world is toast. It's toast. Toast. Trudy and I have the only valid light. We have more authority than the Pope. We have more authority than the leader of any religion that has been here prior. Only by restoring the single word of Unconditional God. love. By the restoring covenant. that. You read Isaiah 49 and read my job description. I am the arrow of the white horseman of the apocalypse that goes forth in Revelation 6 to conquer in the name of love. You are Shiloh. And at every, you are knee, Daniel. at every knee will bow at the name of love because that is his name. Those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. 1 John 4, 7. Capital L. That is his name. Embrace For God it. so loved the world, he gave his only begotten love so whoever would love would not perish. It has nothing to do with believing or doing nothing except keeping your light on. Yeah. Because we are angels that need that light of love, people. For it's all written. Light and all after. opposed to me are antichrist because no one has any root or branch to, to hold on to beyond uh, what I'm telling you because the Bible says exactly what I say it is saying and it does say that. And it's written in the Bible. All of this has to match up. That's right. All of it. And the biggest thing is, now our Lord Jesus can return to the temple. How could he return he will come back things if we restored? let him? He will come back if we make our choices. We have a, we're simply in the valley. There's been two, uh, two destinies uh, foretold. The latter day peace in Isaiah 2 or Armageddon. And it's simply our choice 
to choose now. So know this. The kryptonite of kryptonite, saith the preacher. Kryptonite. kryptonite. I like that song, Kryptonite. Remember that song? Yeah, kryptonite? yeah. I'm going to fix this uh, thing here. Or maybe I will have you turn on the lights, true, because I don't have my glass. Well, okay. No, never mind. I got it. This is Are better. Sure? Yeah, this is better. Almost 60, so uh, the, the old peepers don't work like they used to. People, this is dead wood at one point, but now it is living word of God because it's flowing with the living water and the living bread is now the mountain that God has prepared for all of us to remove all of our shame, all of our disgrace, and it is found within the mountain of this faith. And it is written in Isaiah 25 that he promised all mankind to remove all of our disgrace, not some, all Read it all. all. And in the days of the fullness of Gentiles, all Israel is saved because of the covenant that I bring, saith the one restoring. That's yeah, better, too. Yeah. And um, so I won't have to depend That's on right. this as much. I was starting to much strain. Better. I was a little hesitant there about reading because I figured I'm just going to stop anyway. You're doing great. Uh, yeah, I turned it off a little No, that's, that's good. Not, not too late. Too bright. Too bright. Okay, this, this is good. One. I don't even think I need this. I can put this down. What's that? Uh, no. Other way. Too bright. Lighting, camera action. That way. There we go. That's better. Okay. There we go. Now I'm all set here, people. Okay. So with no further ado, uh, I don't know how long. We're already 20 minutes into this That's half hour great. show. But we uh, uh, did a lot of unscripted stuff. That's right. And you know what? Maybe it's good that uh, we are doing some unscripted stuff because uh, it's, it's coming passion. from our heart. It really is. And my heart has been so burdened. I am the weeping messenger of the weeping prophet Jeremiah. Oh my God, the tears in my be too. So, uh, we still got about an hour, no, a half hour left on the music. Because we wanted the theme song to yeah. Superman to quitting. be playing good because we You're all got to become Christ super night. people. Because we are super people. We just don't know it. That's right. All our definitions of everything has all been dark ages, That's confused right. by our Lord who allowed that to happen and wanted that to happen good to slow us down. So the kryptonite of uh, kryptonite, saith the preacher, uh, unless all superheroes flame on their love like Johnny Torch. So be fantastic for everyone around you. Passionately uncover your cloaked love. All ye people of the grandest superpowers of all love, our love, when it is unselfishly flowing. Oh. Blessed are the wise who know that love is their power and lovelessness is their kryptonite. Heed also the word of uh, Trudy and Batman, because Trudy, could, yeah. in her prime, she can take Batman. No, I, I'm pretty tough, you know. I saw that. Um, after after a devilish devil, I'm losing my cape. That's no, not good. No, not good. Not Can't good. be a good superhero. Yeah, not ain't right. Not, not ain't right. Not allowed. After a devilish devilish Joker offered his beloved so uh, unlovingly, he killed him off off them. His parents, when uh, Batman was abandoned to the darkness, with his love changing immediately into fear. But within that moment of moment, such a, a, a krypton that came forth in his mind, his, his greatest desolation became the flame of his love uh, that refused that curse. And uh, he turned his back on that curse that was overtaking him. And this was the making of Batman as our Lord of our languishing light of love suddenly in, empowered his sputtering fire of his ire's brightness to also flame back on ever so brightly so that even fear himself that one that has been removed even fear was suddenly deathly afraid of batman's renewed purpose to exact uh love and to exalt love and for truth and justice and the american way for bruce wayne clearly saw love's diminished light caused from increasing darkness he saw that that was the worst kryptonite of all that would affect even the batmans of the world not just superman 
since that is the most debilitating kind of kryptonite in an undivine way. Such, um, such toxin to our souls leaves us drained and our dreams of hope collapse then as our joyful harvest crumbles away into the, uh, as mere dust of bitterness to blow off into the darkest side of people's blotted out moon that nobody else could even behold anymore. When the light goes out, the light goes out. And blessed are the wise who will see the gratefulness of heartfelt thanksgiving is our own worry's worst kryptonite of good. Wow. Good kryptonite. Sure. For all bad has an opposite within the reversed power of good attitudes. Amen. And blessed are those keeping their flame of love burning brightly, for they shall have in, they have inherited the antidote to the most toxic kind of unloving kryptonite, kryptonite of all that rushes in as a blazing wildfire of overflowing hope for every last one of us who wants to be willing to put on a cape. But the most challenging kind of kryptonite is the greenest kryptonite. Ooh, ooh watch uh -oh. out for that stuff. Look out. The greenest kryptonite uh, that is like a green-eyed monster Jealous. mocking the very meat that it preys upon. For yeah. in these kingdom age days of transformation, only such toxins caused by the fear of what is ahead will cause billions of people to change in order to survive. Those that believe in the Armageddon the Antichrist, all of that will be exactly if people will not turn and release their superpower of love unconditional. So uh, would it happen? All of it will happen if we do not turn around and fly as one flock with the leadership of Trudy and Daniel at the very lead. Love we have another. turned the corner. You must follow us or you will die. Love one another. Love your brother, love your sister, love your children. So beware of blood red kryptonite, all ye heroes of our everlasting hero of heroes. For that lamb who was slain before the foundation of the earth for all of us is always, always bleeding forth his greatest best wishes uh, to stop the hearts from, uh, to stop people's hearts from becoming as a red bloodstone turning into a, a useless rock. Because that red toxin simply causes all love to petrify as our uh, benevolence and charity within our chest dies. Uh, the bitter death of lovelessness as fools let it wax totally cold so they can commit the unforgivable sin of blaspheme of the Holy Spirit so that they can perish evermore at their own hand, at their own judgment of being stupid enough to stop loving others. And if we don't have love to give away, we have no love. We have nothing. Without love, there empty, is nothing. Empty symbols are we. So let the wise now ask themselves if they've ever danced with the devil in the pale green moonlight. Uh, have you, sucker? It's only when they will accept that our monsters uh, are really within Will, will they finally walk away from all useless condemning religion? From without. Yeah, that, uh, uh, that deceives the stupid people of the world into believing that monsters are really only hiding under your bed, don't you know? Yeah, and That's what we were taught. Yeah. They're only under our bed. Yeah. And it's only what we can do. We, we can do everything on our own. We don't need anybody. The light comes on. Flame on, Johnny Torch. For if the world wants to be perfect, if the world was perfect, rather, if the world was perfect, it, it could never be. Nope. The world was created imperfect, so it could be perfectly perfect in every way. And so are we. If we were created perfect, we could not become perfect. Right. And that was what God wanted for us, was our experience to become as perfect as humanly possible. That is all the religion of loving your neighbors and loving your enemies. That's what God calls us to do. So let the wise shine with the gospel truth that all of our blessedness is on the other side of our fears. That is uh, the bluest kryptonite the, that, that uh, doesn't toxify us slowly. This energizes us. The blue, only the blue 
uh, kryptonite. All the rest is, is of the devil who has been removed. And only that blue kryptonite alone, um, people uh, receiving that can dream that they can do with love on their side all that they can accomplish all and, and wish to accomplish and it all can be and that's why God confused us and confounded our language at Babel because he saw if we stand together there's absolutely nothing that's God's word there's absolutely nothing that's God's word there's absolutely nothing that is God's word that we cannot accomplish we are super people we are angels of light we are the the latter day hosts created who shall be greater glory than the former for love's boldness has genius, power, and miracles within. So look in the mirror and confront your loveless demons, people. Yeah. Because love begins with you. It begins in your heart. And kick those little green-eyed monsters out of your brain. Because the opposite of love has never been hate. Never. The opposite of love has never been hate. Beloved, it is true. It's the I don't give a damn indifference that has been opposite of love. It's That's totally right. indifference. And it's it's the most, that comes from the most destructive black kryptonite of all. It, it, indifference, not to care one way or the other. God said, I would rather have you uh, lukewarm than uh, cold, yeah. spew yeah, you out of your cold. mouth. Don't sit on the fence. He'd rather have you cold. Don't be lukewarm. That What an insult unto love. So let your love and hate now become united within passion. There's a very fine line uh, between love and hate. Why? Because the emotion is alive That's in right. both cases. But when you're indifferent, you're the walking dead. That's right. Like you have died on planet Earth you're even before zombie. you've been buried. But I'll tell you, you're stinking really badly. Don't come in the proximity of this nose that knows stinky people. Watch and I'm talking stink, spiritual stink. Watch out for the bird box. Hypocritical stink. Right. Uh, their nose is above yours. They look down on you. They treat you nice, but they think, and you're stupid. I know the truth. You're going to hell. I was the biggest racist of them all, people. Praise God, the Lord showed me the light of love. Amen. So it's time to be united within passion that's alive. And I don't care if it's coming from hate or love. If it's a live passion, you better turn the way of forgiveness and peace. Amen. And so the people will once more care for the blackest curse of, of uh, all black kryptonite alone clearly shows all victims of FTW, Frig the World Mentality, that beyond evil... The stench uh, in the heart. Their insanity, is that's what's beyond evil, is insanity, not to care. And beyond that insanity is the craziness of the continuation of, of the... Uh, the total um, uh, condemnation kind of love for others, uh, judgmentalism and uh, racism. So it's time to leave all of that behind. Let God be the judge. Let Woe. God be the judge. That's right. Woe to those flirting with their own gray kryptonite also, beloved. For such fools of loveless hearts could never see that nobody is a villain in their own stories. No. Nobody's a villain to their own brain. They justify and rationalize why everything they do is good and proper. <laughs> good luck with yeah, that. Like they can stand on their own when and, they need God. But if they don't rewrite the end part of their story, they're sadly going to discover that they can never become the hero of their very own love's tale that should have a happy ending if they will send it to themselves and write their own ending. Amen. And beware all ye superhero wannabes. Know well that before you release your love that the only goal of all life is death to all unloving ways, beloved. And for every oh, yeah. star, for every star of our most brilliant star of stars, uh, he has gifted one and all with a, a beautiful deposit of his love's brightest flame. And whatever the cost, that inferno of passion must not go out. We must not allow that. No. So don't be too insane to explain lovelessness and too lazy and normal to understand it. Because the normal people, the 
uh, the lethargic, apostate, careless, I don't give a damn people that don't care about they're nothing. Just, they're just waiting for the They next can't door understand job. it because they've got their love lights turned out and they're walking the road yeah. toward blaspheme of the Holy Ghost to let their love light go out so they cannot exist anymore. Yeah. Get off that road, Get beloved. Get off the pot. Quit waiting for your pork job, sitting around, not loving one another. It's time. I got to remind you, it's time to break, break those chains. chains. Break the chains. And we can do it with the power of love because there is no greater chains love fear, on the face of, hate, of this planet. Chains of discrimination. For people, you got to understand that hiding your loving feelings is to begin dying while you are alive. That's right. And there are billions in this love-forsaken world dying for the bread of life that is coming across this tube right now in YouTube and his living water. But billions more are dying for a little Lack bit of, of love. love. They're Lack dying love. for a love. Lack Billy Graham, news. the father, uh, grandfather of Chrislam, he says the worst disease, it's not COVID, it's, it's loneliness. Loneliness, yeah. And beloved, uh, people like that that are dying of love, uh, they they themselves don't know how to stir that up within themselves. So that is the job of the Superman uh, the facade. The Not writer. by power, nor by might, but They're by the strength. spirit of love shall all these things be accomplished. Not by my might. I'm just a weak old 59-year-old alcoholic. And I'm his little sister. And let the wise believe, Isa Yeshua Jesus, all ye angels of the circle of earth, for his love's most glorious light and and let them see that when a loveless per person uh, passes into our great beyond they are but as a falling star just one diminishing light within zillions of other lights and deep um, uh, and deep uh, to their kryptonite of self-judgment they they are would only flare up for just but a moment before they finally disappear into the endless night of forgotten and forsaken love that they have forsaken because they would perish okay. by that unforgivable sin. And as it is written, uh, the lawlessness of the apostate hearts of dying love has caused the love of many to freeze totally up so they can exist only uh, as frigid icicles yeah. of, of paralyzed, paralyzed emotion totally frozen, rock solid. They don't even know These what's are the walking dead, beloved. People like my daughter Esther and Jewel. Hello. And I pray for them and I hope they'll pray for me. But I've, I come from a family of loveless people that have turned me right out of their lives, regardless of all my passion. They're scared. They need to read the Bible. Their understanding, they're just ignorance. They're more to be pitied than censored because young. they don't know who their father is and they don't want to know. They don't know. They don't know. It's all right. They'll grow. They'll grow. But one thing's for sure. Uh, love, letting your love wax cold, people. <laughs> Thus sad. roars our roaring lion of Zion unto all of his flocks. As that good shepherd over all declares this, and he says by his spirit of prophecy, he says, Verily, verily, I say unto all, you are the ember to my flame when it gets dark. Know therefore that life is a pure flame, and one and all live by my invisible sun of love that's arising uh, to destroy the gross darkness of Isaiah 60, the, the man-made religion of condemnation and judgment upon one another. Hallelujah. And it's time to cast away all of that darkness uh, and all of the dark kryptonite of kryptonite, saith uh, the preacher. Un and he says, unless all superheroes flame on. And his sister Trudy their is going to flame on. Like gonna, Johnny Torch. Trudy is going to come on say hello. It is not good. It is Miss Trudy. And Miss Trudy is wearing her terracotta. <laughs> terracotta mask. And, well, for the earth. Because the earth needs love. Our people need love. We need the kingdom age of love to change the world. I'm putting on good. Oh, say, sit down on the No, no, that's all for me. Oh, yeah, that's all for her. I'm putting on another good music. Because God is good and God is love. And He just wants us to know that He loves each and every one of us, especially, individually. There will be no judgment. He says so in His good book. If you look in the book. Superman time. Look in a book. 
the good, the only good book. Believe your Bible. Read it. Read what it says. My brother is who he says he is. I know. I've been to school with him since I was a young girl from Detroit. And our family does have a very, very spiritual, spiritual background. I'm so happy to have had the family that I've had. Superman! Well, don't have really uh, too much more to add to that. I just wanted to you to say hi. So love from love, beloved. And until next time, keep it cool, keep it 100, and keep it uh, powerful. Amen. And that's what love will do for one and all of us. That's right. Love Amen. from love.